Manumapi Sachi Putra Matra Rupam Rupam Atasya Brajavarim Purim Mahapurim Kostava Radha Kundam Girivar Maho Radhika Madhavasam Prato Jasya Pratita Pratita Shri Guru Matosmi Bancha Kalpataru Vesya Kripa Sintu Bhai Vacha Patita Mampamani Vaishnavityo Namo Mahavadannaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishna Yatishna Chaitanya Namne Kaurathisi Gurave Kaurachandraya Radhikaya Itadaya Krishna Yatishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Yam Prabhyajanta Manupeta Mapeta Dhrityam Dvaipaya no viraha kataraya juhava Putre titan maitaya karamo bhinedu Tam sarabha dhotari dayam Muni mana toshni Tavai vasmi, tavai vasmi Jivami dhaya bhinat Piti Vigyaya Radhi Tandai Maam Charam Bhaktya Vihinaya Paragala Chittascha Bhamati Tarangamati Tripa Mahintam Saranam Prapanna Vindir Masti Charam So much thanks to you that subject is so high and deep, but when you are here, so you are qualified to have the mercy of Krishna. If subject is so high, I even you should try to listen or something will come. Yesterday we discussed about Advaya Gyan Patattva and Srimad Bhupadvana Maharaj expressed very beautifully all these things. But even so many devotees want to clarify more or something. So, Sriman <coughs> Sundar Gopal Prabhu will tell something about Advaya Gyan Bhattva. First of all, I offer my unlimited obeisances at the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pada Shtutara Shata Shri Srimad Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaj. I also offer my humble obeisances to all the senior Vaishnavas and all the assembled guests. People have many ideas about the nature of reality and this world. Some people say there's no absolute truth. Everything is relative. Others say 
There is an absolute truth, but that absolute truth is not a person, not conscious. For instance, the scientists today, they believe the only absolute truth are the laws of nature, such as the law of gravity, which can be expressed in, mathematic, in mathematics. Others, they accept that the absolute truth is a person, but they think that there are many supreme personalities, and all are equal. In this way, generally, confusion reigns. Most people, they don't have the answer to this question, and nor do they wish to find out about it, because it simply interferes with their sense enjoyment. But what do the Vedas, what does Srimad Bhagavatam say? Vadanti tat, tatva vidas, tatvam yajjnanam advayam, brameti paramatmeti, bhagavani tishaptyate. Here, it is stated very clearly that there is an absolute truth, paratatva. That tatva refers to paratatva. And jnana, that absolute truth, is conscious. So, by force, that absolute truth must be a person. Also, that paratatva is advaya. Advaya means non-plural. Sometimes we say non-dual, which means not two. But this absolute truth is also not three, it's not four, it's not a hundred. It's one all-embracing unit that covers all of existence. And therefore it has been called Advaya. What exactly does that mean? It means that everything that you see, everything that exists in this world, in other universes, in the spiritual kingdom, nothing exists separately or independently of the Supreme Lord. Everything is indeed a part of the Supreme Lord and fully and always under His control. Now, some questions may come up in your mind. Srila Jiva Goswami in Tattva Sandarbha and Sri Bhagavat Sandarbha considers three possible objections that someone might bring up. And perhaps these questions have come in our minds too at some point. They're called Svagat Bhed, Svajatiya Bhed, and Vijatiya Bhed. The Sanskrit terms are not so important. What's important is the idea behind them. The first, Svagat Bhed. We know that Sri Krishna is the absolute truth. And that he, has, that he is a person and has a form. But as soon as you say that someone has a form, we, th we may think that it will bring in some problem. For instance, we have forms. If, my arm, if I am caught in an accident and my arm is cut off, that arm is no longer part of me. Or perhaps that's a part of me and I am still here. There's a you immediately have more than one single unit. This question comes up because whatever we know about the nature of form, we know from our material experience. The form that we know is the form of this material world. For instance, the form that we have now, it may be useful now, or we may be in middle age. At some point in the future, old age will arrive. They say that every 12 years, every single cell within our body has been changed. And so here you see change. You see plurality. Also because the form that we have is made of flesh, blood and bones. It is not us. There is a difference between our true identity and the form that we see if we look in the mirror. So in this way, when you look at forms in this material world, you see many kinds of differences. So someone may think that maybe Bhagavan's form also 
has these different, these various kinds of differences. But Srila Jiva Goswami answers this question and shows that this doubt has no foundation. Sri Krishna's form, unlike our form, is made of sat, eternal existence, chit, consciousness, and ananda, spiritual joy. In Gopal Tapani Upanishad it is stated, Om Sachirananda Rupaya Krishnaya. Because Krishna's form is by its very nature different to ours, being spiritual, Krishna can perform the function of any sense with any other sense. In Sri Brahma Samhita, Sri Brahma states, Angani Yasya Sakalendriya Vritti Manti. Pashyanti Panti Kalayanti Chiranjaganti Ananda Chinmaya Sad Ujvala Prema Vigrahasya Govinda Madi Purisham Tamahum Bajami Any sense Krishna can use to perform any other function. There's also another way that you can look at this. If you go into a candy store, you can, you can buy sometimes like little figurines made of sugar candy or of chocolate. Now if you look at one of these figurines, it has form, it has shape, but all the way through it's made of one material, which is sugar. So Krishna too, it is stated that he is Raso Vaisaha, made of rasa, the embodiment of sweetness. He has form, he has qualities, but all are made of condensed sweetness. So in this way, this problem of duality or plurality doesn't actually come. The second objection that someone may have, it runs as follows. We know from Srimad Bhagavatam, Ete Changsa Kala Pungsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan Swayam. That Sri Krishna in Braj is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But we, we will also observe that there are many incarnations and manifestations of Krishna, such as Sri Nishingadev, Matsya, Varaha, and others. So, here you see many. So how can, they, how can the Absolute Truth be one if He has manifested Himself into many? This is the second objection. And Srila Jiva Goswami also explains that this objection has no foundation. He gives the analogy of the moon. At various times in the lunar fortnight, the moon will appear differently. Sometimes as a very thin crescent, and then it grows, it waxes, and it becomes a full moon, and then it wanes once again. So the moon appears differently on different days, but we all know that the moon is one. It remains the same, the same moon. So also, Sri Krishna in Braj is the very epitome of Godhead. He has all the qualities of Bhagavan to their very highest extent and at certain times to manifest certain pastimes Sri Krishna will manifest as a particular incarnation and demonstrate or manifest one or more specialities but when Krishna appears in his full splendor as the Absolute Truth. This is Swayam Bhagavan Shri Krishna, Shri Krishna in Braj. So in this way, all the incarnations actually exist simultaneously within Shri Krishna in Braj. And so you do not have this plurality. The Absolute Truth is one. In simple language, this is sometimes expressed as God is one without a second. Now the final objection that Srila Jiva Goswami considers is called Vijatiya Ved. 
svađati li? So svagat bed, svađati li? And the third one, vijati li? If we look around ourselves, we see so many things. We see so many objects in this material world. We see the innumerable jivas, or living entities, which inhabit the various species of life in this world. Now, what are all of these things? Or they, how can they be God? Surely this shows that God is in one place, and then there are so many other things. But Srila Jiva Goswami answers this doubt. The first point to consider is that everything in this world emanates or originates from Swayam Bhagavan Sri Krishna. The second point to consider is that nothing in this world conflicts with anything else. Srila Jiva Goswami states that if two things come from the same source, and their functions don't conflict with each other, then they may be regarded as one. In this world, sometimes it appears as if things conflict, but actually, everything moves exactly according to the will of the Supreme Lord. This idea that things conflict only comes about in our minds because they conflict with our attempts to enjoy in this world. But as far as Krishna's wishes go, Nothing ever conflicts with that. Everything remains fully under Krishna's control. Imagine if beads of sweat emanated from, came from your, your body, say your arm. In our case, they would just drop to the ground and they would no longer be part of us. But if you were so powerful that when a bead of sweat came from your brow or your, your arm, you could make it go in a direction, expand, contract, return, and enter again into your pore. You would have full control of that emanation. And that emanation could be regarded as non-different from you. This is exactly the nature of the Supreme Lord. As Karna Dakshai Vishnu, from the pores of his skin, innumerable, countless universes emanate like pearls of sweat. They expand, they stay for some time, and then again, they shrink and return back into the pores of his lotus body. So in this way, we can see that everything is fully under Krishna's control and operates according to his sweet will. Now, someone may wonder, why is it that we need to know this? Once, Srila Gurudev explained that any person who will actually realize Advaya Gyan Paratattva will immediately be liberated from this world. Because if you can actually realize and understand that everything belongs to the Supreme Lord, nothing exists separately from Him, you will have no inclination to try to enjoy anything separately from Him. At once, you will develop detachment from material existence. And your bhakti, the path of bhakti is, clear, is cleared for you, so you can make advancement in Krishna consciousness. Pancha Now you should come to me. We are explaining first Mangalacharan slow. We have explained Janma Darsya, Kanvay Bhikri, Artesu Abhikraha, all we have explained. Now, <coughs> Abhikraha, Itartascha Artesu Abhikraha. Krishna Supreme Lord, He knows how this world is created. Better than any jeev, any jeev may be liberated, but He cannot create one. 
and that is why he is Purna. He is Swarad. He can do anything like this. So he is what? Transcendental eh? Swarad. He is independent. <coughs> because Swarup Shakti is in, but I think that he is controlled by Swarup Shakti. He is Swarat even, but controlled by his solution. Then, Tene Brahmari Daja Kavai. General meaning is that Tene Brahmari Daya. He gives the knowledge. In the heart of Brahma, all kinds of knowledge. Who is Krishna? How he is, how he does everything, how he is Sarup Shakti, Maya Shakti, everything. But here, it may, may be that, Tene Brahma Hidaya, oh, Adi Kabe who is? Vyasadev or especially Sukhdev Goswami and in the heart what he tenet, what he inspired, manifested. Oh, Sapta Brahma. What was that? Love of Radhika. And that is why Sukhdev Goswami became Rashi and he has written everything in Srimad Bhagavad. So, Tene Brahma Hridaya Adhukave, who Adhukave? This Sukhdev Goswami. And what? Tene? Not oh, Srishti Vishaya. Creation level. Nothing. What? More than that. <laughs> So, Tene Brahma Raja Adakabe, Adakabe is here. Sukadeva Goswami. What he? Oh, it is very Turbodhyato. Oh, Tattabit Bhakti also. Very hard to understand. Even demi gods and others, they can return. What is that? Generally, what Brahma does? He tenet Vedas. All transcendental knowledge. But what is transcendental knowledge? Knowledge is transferred into Bhav. And then Bhav becomes Neman, Pranay, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Mahabhav. Rura de Rur Matan Mohan. So, in Adakave, in the heart of Sukadeva Goswami, he tended that how that he can explain all these things. Mode of Radhika. And that is why he, he has explained in Srimad Bhagavatam that Krishna cannot. No, also all these things, Naparehum Nirvatrasana. Now, Tejo Bharimidam, Jatha Vinimo Jatrasti Sarko Amrisha. General meaning is that this word, Chid word, Jeev Jagat, sometimes they became, they are Nashva. But they are seen like truth. This world is what? Not 
Vishi. Anyone has not in this immortal? Only Krishna and his <coughs> associates are immortal. So he is telling that you should understand the Srishti. Creation is of three kinds. Chit Sarga. <coughs> Chit Sarga means oh, Golok Vrindavan Vaikuntha. Chit Sarga. Jiva Sarga. Jeev. So many souls. And Jada Sarga this creation of this world. Now he is giving some example. Chit Sarga. In this world, Chit Sarga is like foil. How? Fire here. We can see when, when we will rob or give a stone on a stone, it will come. So Chit Sarga, that is that transcendental past times of Krishna. In this world come by Shadana, especially for whom? To Vinodana Thaya. To, to please his devotees. He comes. How this transcendental Vrindavan Golok Lida came here by the wish of Krishna. That by hearing all the pastimes, all will have some interest, taste. And if they will hear all pastimes, gradually they will have Guru and then practice Bhakti Yoga and they will be liberated and go to Guru. This is only process. <coughs> Especially <coughs> to please <coughs> the devotees Krishna comes. We know Daya. So, by practice a bhakti yoga, we can have the darshan of Chillila, that is Krishna and his pastimes. Otherwise, no. But what is fire? What is fire? I have perhaps explained. What you see, it is not fire. Flame is not fire. If woods will go away, fuel go away, there is no flame. And it, since that fire is not there, but fire is there. Everywhere, in these, in these, in these, everywhere fire. So Krishna is everywhere. Still in Vrindavan, in Mahaprabhu, Pastan, Navadri, in Puri, everywhere, Ajodhya, oh, Krishna. But by practice, we can see. His associates also, they are very powerful, transcendent. If you pray, I don't take it. So, fire is everywhere, but by dharshan, by rubbing, it comes out and we can see. So all the chit sishti, uh, transcendental creation is like that. Everything. It comes down, manifests in this world by this sweet desire of Krishna. And when we want, and goes in very wonderful way. 
Krishna came in wonderful way two places at a time in Gokul and Mathura and at the time of when not told that your time is finished now you should go to Golopendava and he, what he miracle all his Parikas of Dwarka or Jadubansi began to fight each other. And with Sarpanta, a kind of cross, it, it became like Vajra. And they fought each other and they all finished. Baldev Prabhu, oh, from here, a serpent came white, fiery, and he also came. And in the meantime, a what? Hunter came, and he suited in the feet of Krishna, thinking that it is a deer. And then what Krishna did? Like this. And he went in the Golo Vrindavan. All demigods were praying. And how it became? That all the Jadvanshis fought together and Krishna left his body and he suited and he was toy. And they did his funeral ceremony also. In Mahabharata it is written, <laughs> not in Srimad Bhagavad. Only to, to gender people to cheat that Krishna was like this. <clears throat> Vishwanath Chakrati Thakur has told once in the council of a king, two beautiful, not what? Magician. 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 Magician came. Very beautiful young. And his two sons, very beautiful, very strong, aged about twelve, both. They came and told King, O oh, King, I want to show you some or magic. And then quickly they made a rope hanging on the two bamboos and quickly the lady, young lady, taking so many pots and taking a bamboo stick she climbed on that and began to dance at the balance of that person. All there clapping, very happy. Especially Queen became very happy. And when she got, got down, came down, oh, the king, oh, very beautiful Naulakkaha, Necklace of nine lakhs dollar. <laughs> she gave him the neck of his wife. She became very happy. And in the meantime, two sons were quarreling to take that oh, necklace. They were white. And the mother took it out and gave him the middle. And they were born. But they were not less than anyone together. Same equal. Then one took sword from his side and did like that and at once cut at his brother. And also in the same time, our second also did. 
road and walk at a time of all that. But in the meantime, mother came, oh my two sons have come. What to do? And she took their show then. And then father came, oh my three, two daughters, two sons and my wife has gone. How to? And also. And all we can. So, right? And lamenting. Anyhow, his dead body is well. Removed. And in the meantime, in the night, pain was very lamenting. Four has been dead for my only necklace. Five, I think. And then, in the morning, very morning. They were lamenting. In the meantime, a later calm came. O oh, king, we are not calm. First, what my wife showed you, played, and you give some presentation. But what we did in the last, oh, you could not pay anything for that. And if you have no trust, you can come and see me. See us, we are so alive. Oh, hearing this, they come very happy and with their concept, they went to the, their house and they saw that. Oh, same, uh, what, magician and his wife and two children, all with the godlands and they were receiving king and queen. What is this? If a magician can do this, no? Magician can do all so. So why Krishna cannot do all these things? To cheat others. Those who have no bhakti at all. So, oh, some
I am this body and mind all are mine. And then being superior than Maya, they are in form, entangled in Maya. This asakti, attachment is the root of all evil. But it comes by the wish of Krishna. So, again by Shadhan Bhajan, by taking initiation in proper Guru, qualified, Rasik Tattagya, doing Shadhan Bhajan, Adho Sattha, Tata Sadhu Sangha, Atha Anarthan Bhakti, Shatato Nishtha Ruchi Asakti Bhav. Then we can again serve Krishna. You should know that you are all refugee in this. All we are. Why you become refugee? Because we wish that I should be served, I should not serve Supreme Lord. So Maya binded him and threw out so far away in this world. So, you should give your whole energy in this lifetime to do Satan Bhajan in the guidance of him. Don't give us a part of your energy to him. Now, Jarsa, this creation, world is creation. What creation or body and what we see, not so and super soul. In this body they are, but not created by Maya. So, he has given some example, like earth. Earth, from earth we can make so many pots, so many pots. Some is what, water, some other things. And also, from earth, gold comes out. It is also a vikriti of earth. And from gold, you will make necklace, kundal, then it will not be called gold, but it will be gold. And if earth is made jaw, then it will not be called earth, it will be called ghata. But really it is all from earth. So, what you see in this world, it has come from where? By the achinta shakti of Krishna, from the chaya shakti. Shaktis are not two, three, four. When Sarup Shakti, he is in Chit Jagat and he is helping Krishna and devotee, then it is Swarup Shakti, Chit Shakti, Lalini Shakti. And when he plays the part of Jiva Shakti, then he is Jiva Shakti. And then he part the play of creation of this body, then see that Maya is called Actually, Maya is one. Krishna is one and his power is one. Only due to the fact, function, oh, this Shakti is called. Especially in this world, we know only Maya. But actually, Saru Shakti is Maya. Maya means power. But we know that the, this Maya. So when we tell Maya, oh, we think that over oh, this. But actually this is not fact. So, among them, Chit Sarva, Jiva Sarva and Maya Sarva. Sometimes, Chit Sarva is always true. Jiva Shakti is always true. But comes when, like Patmaji, it seems like Vinaspa. And Jarsarva is Vinaspa. 
But sometimes they think, uh, we think that this is true. We are true, our body is true, my relations are true, oh, whole world is true. This is why? This is to Maya. So try to give up this Maya. By the power of Krishna serving Guru and Gauranga, Guru will save you. He tell him, oh, I am very merciful, Krishna. Do I am always with Shakti, not different. But sometimes what we or oh, Ichit Dham, Kulo and also Prakat Vrindavan, Bhom Vrindavan. Oh. He is different from his Shakti, like Radha, Lalita, Vishakha, Rukmanjari and all, and Krishna to be, and all are serving Krishna. But really all are in Krishna, he is Shakti Ma. But they are in Dham, always in two, in Krishna and all Parikas. All are serving. Even Baldev Prabhu Sati, Nanda Baba, Garga Chari, all are serving. All Shakti are serving. But also you should know that he is servant of anyone. They are also. And who is servant? Or Radhika. But Krishna is supreme. So, this Purna Shakti Man. Krishna, oh, we bow down to Krishna. This is Paramshakta. So, how we will do? By Kirtan, Saman, Kirtan, Smarana, Bandhan and all other things. We have, Krishna has given this human body only to serve him and to practice Bhakti Jo. And if you are not doing, then you are Atma Han, pillar of the soul, like hunter. So don't give your energy to another things. Try to practice Bhakti Yoga, whether living in Grihastha or Samaj. <coughs> Go Pramanandi. Oh. You should speak and hear. You should know that to preach our whole world, the book should be distributed. Like Swamiji Maharaj published so many books, translated all books, authority, and his disciples are distributing the books everywhere. I want the same process that he adopted. We have published so many books and we are going to publish more new Udwal in Mani, Bhakti Rishami Sindhu, Rivas Bhavatam Also, Git Govinda, very soon it will come. So, I want that. They should not be in cold storage. <laughs> they should be what distributed everywhere. So we have some plan, and that plan, oh, Prabhu, Radha Kant Prabhu, they tell him, and after that, Vishwambar will tell. Again, I'm to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis and guests here. I have two very uh, auspicious announcements to make. <clears throat> uh, one is that Sugar Dave is the champion of 
Braj Mandal Parikram and Navadip Parikram for many, many years. And uh, following in the footsteps of his Gurudev and Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he's continuing to host the international community in Navadip Dham this year for Gaur Praneem. Yes. Inviting everyone to come. There is a new project there. Gurudev has uh, propagated this Sankirtan, this, this Parikram for many years in different facilities. And now he has also created a new larger facility just on the bank of the Ganga in Navadvip town. And we're building a very beautiful temple there, just like our Govardhan project. Some of you may have seen this year in Kartik. <laughs> There will also be a very beautiful mandir there with a large hall for uh, Harikata Prashadam for over 5,000 pilgrims in Navadvip. <laughs> it's a much, much bigger parikram than Rajmandal Parikram. Some of you have been there. Uh, many, many thousands of Bengalis come and, and hundreds if not thousands of Westerners also come. So, this year the, the Parikram will be situated in the new land. There will be some temporary facilities there. And uh, we have some information on the back table also about this project. The building of the temple, there will be a Gosha, there will be gardens, there will be a Prashadam Hall. There will be many, many facilities. And Gurudev is outpouring his heart to make this a wonderful, wonderful facility, especially for the Westerners, especially for all the devotees all over the world. We're coming to Navadweep. He wants to have a very nice facility there for all of us. Better. This would help me to start Gaurang Gautam and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sachinandra and Gaurang. Among you, there are so many, some wealthy persons also. Not wealthy, even you have heart. You can help me. If little, little amount, then even it will be very, very big help for me. And some response are coming, some donations are also coming. And very soon, uh, after Nodi Parikrama, we will start the construction of now. Very good temple, big hall, lecture hall, but then. A charitable dispensary, some children's school, and other benefit for the general people will be done there, and also especially for the people. We can do something also there for old age persons and ladies. We have thought and so many things. So I think that you must help us. Oh, not help us, but help you. <laughs> that your money will be given to Krishna and you will be very fortunate. If anyone does want to help um, this very important project of Gurudev, we have uh, a non-profit organization here in the United States. You can receive a tax uh, certificate, a receipt, so you can write it off on your taxes. And uh, it would be very, very helpful. So please, please help us, Gurudev Eskin. The second part is uh, we have a new, easier, improved program for making it uh, quite easy for devotees to distribute books. And uh, we've done different programs in the past trying to encourage devotees. Um, Srila Gurudev works very hard, very, very hard in, in, in writing and translating and working on his books. And so many wonderful books are coming out. So in order to for us, if we want to help our Gurudev, if we want to help in his uh, literary preaching work and distribution of books, we have a very nice program. Vishwam Markham is going to explain uh, the new program that we can all take advantage of here at the book table. Hare Krishna. As Gurudev said, he doesn't want his books in cold storage. As Gurudev, Srila Gurudev said, he doesn't want his books in cold storage, so the dam is broken. We're opening up the warehouse for everybody to distribute books. 
It's easier than ever to become a, a book distributor now. We have a new program where for a minimum order of $100, everybody could get Grudeg's books at print cost. Print cost. Sheila <laughs> Grudeg is taking care of all, is subsidizing all publishing overhead. So he wants to flood the world with the books by our Guru Varga, by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, by Jiva Goswami, by Rupa Goswami, all the books. He wants to flood the world. So, we are also offering a gift for all the distributors that sign up today that want to enroll throughout the whole festival. A gift of the new painting for Gita Govinda. So for those that want to participate and help Rude and distribute his books all around the world, please come to the table back there. Huh? So minimum order of $100. Also we have um, a, a, a special deal where if you want to get the whole collection of Guru Dave's books, 22 titles, 108 books total, at print cost only for 131 also. So you can just come in the back table, there's more information back there. Also, if you cannot participate in book distribution, and if you just want to have a few books, then you could also get the books at retail back there. And 50% of all proceeds from the book distribution at the festival will go to the Dominican Project. So. Yeah. Welcome to the Hare Krishna, begin your drama play. So please start your drama. If prior to that, I want to say one word, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. So, so many devotees as requested for initiation. Initiation will take place tomorrow in our temple room over there in Gopinda Palpro's house, 8.30 a.m. So whoever wants initiation, they must be certified by senior devotee or local person by local devotee. For male devotee have to shave their hairs and keep sikha and for ladies no need to cut hair <laughs> direct without cutting hair. Hare Krishna. For one more announcement. Um, we all know that our very dear God brother, uh, Sriman Gaur Sundar Prabhu, had an injury this year. And in order to help him with medical costs, uh, recently in New, New Zealand, about a year ago, he was performing a very beautiful kirtan there, which was recorded quite professionally. It's about 45 minutes long, very beautiful kirtan with Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Mero Radha Ramana Girid Hari, uh, Guru Dev Kripa Torokei. And we have copies of these CDs on a special table, where his picture is, uh, oh, here are the CDs. We're also, uh, Aniruddha Prabhu from Honolulu is bringing a hundred more copies tomorrow. And uh, this devotee who has donated this, no one has heard this kirtan before. And uh, the devotee who has donated this kirtan, uh, he wants all the proceeds to go to Gorsundar Prabhu. So anyone who wants to give, we're, we're requesting a $10 donation if you can. But if you can, just give whatever you can, and please take a CD with you. Hare Krishna.